and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony Edelbrock and today we will go through the process of transferring a job calibration from one controller into another controller. Let's get started. Alright, so you can see on my screen here uh, I do have a project open. Uh, one thing I just want to uh, confirm is my access version. So I'll just go up top, hit my menu button and go down to about and you'll see that I'm on version 2020. Uh, that's important because if we we're just doing a copy and paste of these job files, uh, we need to make sure that they are the, the same version uh, between controller 1 and controller 2. So if, uh, if they're not, uh, odds are you'll have to convert your job file. Uh, an easy way to do that is just through the uh, Trimbo Convert tool. Uh, if you have any questions on that, you can uh, check out our Frontier Precision YouTube page. And we do have a uh, video that goes through that process. Okay, so uh, last thing I want to check here is if I hit my menu button, uh, I want to check my calibration itself. So if I click on job, select my job here, and then if I hit properties, uh, I can click on my coordinate system, which says local site, uh, to go to my key and parameters and just hit next. Go down to horizontal adjustment, click on that. And as you can see here, I do have a translation, uh, rotation, and a scale factor uh, for my calibration. So um, just something to compare between controller 1 and controller 2 after we get the, everything copied over. Um, so I'll just escape out of here. And I don't need anything else uh, in access here, so I'm just going to close this down and go to uh, my, my main screen, uh, open up uh, Windows Explorer and get uh, my job file on the left here, on the top left, uh, is my, my mine calibration job. I uh, just do my right click, and then I do have a, just a USB. Uh, so I'll just paste it out of my USB, and then I will just uh, take out my USB and pop it into my other TSC7 that needs the file. Okay, so on my TSC7 here, on my controller number two, uh, I have my USB popped in here, so I'm just gonna do my tap and hold on my job file here. Uh, go down to copy. And then just need to navigate to the, my job folder, project folder, uh, and access in my Trimble data folder. Again, just do my tap and hold and paste it in here. So I can close that. And now I just need to open up uh, Trimble Access. And once, that's, it, it, once that opens up, I personally like to make a, a template from that file that we just copied over. So uh, to do that, I'll just do a, a menu click here, go down to my settings and then templates. And now that I have it in, um, I want to create a template from my mine calibration. So if I go down on the bottom and click import, I just need to navigate to where I pasted my job file. That will be under your program data folder, under Trimble, and then under Trimble data, under projects. You can see my Cliffs folder is right here up on top. And there's that mine calibration job I just pasted over. So if I click on that, I just need to make a template name. I'll just call it uh, mine calibration. And then on the bottom right, just hit enter. And then just go ahead and hit, hit accept. So now you can see I do have a mine calibration template set up in my controller that has all the same parameters uh, for my uh, site calibration that the job had on controller one. So now that I have that on my controller 2, if I hit new, I can go down to my template uh, drop down and I can see I can select my mine calibration. I'll go to my coordinate system local site bar, just tap on that. Again, my key and parameters next, down to horizontal adjustment. And you can see I do have my translation, uh, rotation, and scale factor, which matches up uh, on controller one. So just a quick verification, everything looks good. I can hit accept there uh, and just escape. I do have a few templates made up. Uh, this just makes uh, job setup uh, and creation very simple. So um, if that's not really an option, maybe you don't go to that site up a whole lot, uh, one other thing you can do is just copy uh, the calibration from job to job on the same controller. So if I hit copy, see in the top I can do a copy between jobs. Then I would just need to navigate my job to copy, job to copy to, and what do I want to copy over? Uh, calibration and control, uh, control points. So uh, just a quick easy way to uh, know that everything's in controller two to copy from job to job that same calibration. This concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk for today. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time.